This program we call the PD Extended. So this is part of the distribution of the pure data. For the pure data software, you can refer to the website on puredata.info. And when you select the download PD, there are a number of distribution where you can download. The PD Extended actually contains a number of graphics and other libraries. So we do not need to separately install each one of them. They come in one single package. The first thing you're going to see is this particular window we call the console window. So actually you have come across this number of messages which tell you which library has been loaded into the software. And when we work on with our program, you actually pay attention to this window which will tell you the error message or other valuable information you can check for your software. So the next step is we try to create a new program. And in pure data, our terminology is called a patch. So each patch is one single piece of program with this blank white window. So you can resize them into whichever form. So before I start, I try to do something which is for the sake of this video recording. I change the size of the font such that you can easily to recognize the command and also those messages on this screen. Like other software, you have to save your file. And the file in the pure data come with the name or extension PD. So for today's in this Hello World exercise, we have our lesson number one. So this is the name, lesson001.pd. So actually we have saved it on the desktop and this is the file we have just completed. In this blank window, we are going to create a lot of those boxes and all those boxes are the basic components of our pure data patch. And we'll use those connection between the boxes to create the logic of the software. So everything we go through this menu bar put. So we have objects. And for example, I do a very simple one is an addition. And we also have message. For the message box, you can type in any form of message, like the piece of text or a number. And we also have something which tailor for calculation or computation. This is the number box. So other than those components, we also have a number of other strings material. So one of them we're going to use, for example, is called a toggle. Actually, they come in within the member of the graphical user interface. So this one is actually a button. So we're going to see how it works later. And if you think that this one is a little bit too small for your display, you can actually use right click and properties to change the size of this button. We'll come back with other parameters later. So this is a toggle box. And we can also have something called a band, which is also a button, but with different behavior. So again, we can change the property and make it a bigger one or you even you can change the color of this button. So it seems that you have a lot of choices and 
a lot of time we do not remember how many objects or how many types of function we can use in the pure data. So what you can do is go to the help and select the browsers. And within this help browser, they come with a lot of topics. We will cover some of them later. And for the basic one is the pure data, is the control element. You can see something like this one by double click on any one of the items. So beside this one, you can also have something we call the contextual help. For example, if you forget how to use this particular object, you can right click and select help. It gives you a very detailed help page which show you the information how you can work on with these particular objects. So the main difference between those boxes are so the object is actually a function or some sort of operation you perform some form of logic or calculation while the number text they are data which means they will provide information for the objects to calculate or to operate on. And for those graphical user interface, actually they maintain some form of interactivity where the user can actually in real time to click on them to perform some things. So let's start with one very simple example. In order to perform some meaningful calculation or operation, you need to connect those boxes together. For example, if you would like to do an addition of two numbers, you connect this one to one of those tiny things on top of the boxes. And this one we call the inlet, which is the input. And for the addition, you have two of them. So we connect the two boxes, one number and one message to the box we call the addition. So after the addition, it will produce another number, which is the result of the calculation. And you can see these tiny boxes over here. This is the outlet, that is the output from this particular objects. Once you connect all three of them, you can start to perform the calculation of addition. And to run the program or the patch in pure data, it comes with a command. We switch from an edit mode to an run mode. So in edit mode, you are free to select any of those boxes and modify them. But in run mode, you cannot change them. You can just operate on them by clicking upon it. For example, you can click on a message. And because this one is just a standalone without connection to any of those other objects, so you do not see any real function. But for this one, when you click on this one, the data is sent from this message box to the addition operator. And for this one, this is a number box. You can click on this, type in a number, and then press enter or return. It will perform the calculation immediately for you. So you can see the change of this number box. And another way to modify the number within the number box is you can click on the box and drag your mouse upward or downward which will increase the number by one or decrease the number by one, depending on the direction of your movement of your mouse. And for the graphical user interface, you can do similar things by clicking on the objects. This is a bang, which whenever you click on it, it will send out a signal. We will explain later. And this is a toggle box, which is similar to a electric switch in the wall where you can click on to open something and then click off to close it again. So those are the basic operation of the field objects 
or boxes so you can find commonly in one of those pure data patch. So in summary, we have something called the message, which will give you actually a text message or even a number message. And we have something we call the number, which can be function as an input to an operation or as an output of an operation. And within this one, we have something we call the objects. We actually perform some computation related to a lot of different functions. Some of them, for example, like this one is arithmetic, mathematics calculation. Some of them can be more graphical. Some of them will handle audio information. And we also come with a number of graphical user interface. So in later chapters, we're going to show you a little bit more about those boxes. Okay, so that's the end of the first lessons.